Hey guys, Oster443 here, back with more Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 1, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Last time, we found ourselves on Flotsam Island, and this time we're going to start getting ourselves into some pirate hijinks. So, this is Flotsam, and this is the main area of Flotsam. So, yeah, I guess... All we really need to do is start clicking things, so let's click. Odd card? What card? <laughs> oh, I've breathed into the mic a little bit there. Um, so apparently we can't get into Club 41 without a card, and we're not going to get a card until later, at least. Um... Here's uh, Davy Nipikind, who is from the last episode. If any of you guys bothered to watch that, I hope you did. It, it's sort of disorienting to start with just the second episode, but anyway, I think um, the first thing we should start working on um, is trying to get ourselves a boat. Now, apparently, there's only one boat on Flotsam, but uh, unfortunately, because of the strange winds, we can't sail away with it. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Well quaffed? Ben Winslow, captain of the screaming narwhal, and you are. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Um. Prepare to be boarded? Yeah. Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the screaming novel for over two years. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Yeah, I know. Why are you so happy about seizing your ship? Yes. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Okay. Um. Yeah, that is a seriously weird looking ship. What kind of ship has a clothesline? Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? <laughs> no, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. <laughs> All right. Uh. How, how did you become captain? Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. <laughs> so all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Well, we just asked that good. Uh, Be seeing you. Well, I look forward to it. Yeah. So I guess we're just gonna get get his ship get and guess he's got the gangplank lowered so let's just go up that prepare to be boarded then Winslow <laughs> what the bacon grease boy -o. slickest stuff in the seven seas oh that was right. alliteration an anniversary present and now it's all covered with bacon grease man is Elaine gonna be po'd Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna wanna try the anchor then. <laughs> oh dang! Hot, hot. Ah! Ow. Oh, it set the baking grease on fire. And now the dock is smoldering. I'm Perfect. totally acting like I didn't know it would do that. Um, this isn't gonna be important until later. But you do need to do this um, if you do want to seize the screaming narwhal. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to hold shift, which is um, sprint. Alphabet sale. All right, I'm intrigued there, now. Scruffy artisan, I'm Guybrush Mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself! I be Gapper Crimp Digit, Pirate Glassblower. Ahoy there, Scruffy artisan, I'm Guybrush Mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself! I be Gapper Crimp Digit, Pirate Glassblower. Pirate glassblower? How a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glassblowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, I get to kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. <laughs> so, unicorns, huh? So, unicorns, huh? I... Graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. Um, yeah, let's inquire him about the alphabet sale. What's this alphabet sale all about? Well, it's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters. Which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very camp. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Eh, sure, it's an adventure game. Uh, try to get as many items as you can. Um. Uh... I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? I like this pun. Here you go. A U? What about A E I O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is YouTubes these days. <laughs> get it? Get it? Cause this this video is on YouTube, and and you're watching it on YouTube. Okay. Um. So that's all I think Thanks we needed from him. I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Because I just remembered I forgot yeah. something um, by the screaming narwhal. All right, sprint, sprint, run, you fool! Oh, come on! All right. What we're gonna want to do is click the socks. This is important. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club forty-one, probationary member number thirty-seven. Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Now, we do have a Club 41 card. Um, it is very difficult to try to sprint in this game. Because you have to put, keep your pinky on the shift button while pressing the directional pad. Uh -huh. Alright. So... Since there's not much we can do in town, <clears throat> sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit there. Um, we'll go to Club Forty One later. Uh, let's explore the forest. Okay, who the heck is this? Oh God! Hi. Ah, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro. Treasure Hunter Extraordinary. What were what you, were doing, you down doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. Porcelain pirate? Okay. What kind of treasure what do you hunt? What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I look for the rarest of pirate treasures. I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. Oh. <laughs> I like this one. This is good. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Um, what you're gonna want to do is distract him. Hey, look! A three-headed monkey! I've already got a three-headed monkey figure. Um, okay. Guess that didn't work. 
Um. What's that? Ask big him about pink the pink pile of dolls. Pile of dolls. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Okay. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate pear flavored breakfast soup. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. Oh. Yeah, how many are there? How many do you have left? The only power pirate I have not found is the ultra rare, impossible to find Dark Ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scammed? Jay. Scammed? Some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a Ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. Plaid jacket and waving arms. Hmm. Who in the Monkey Island series waves their arms a lot and has a plaid jacket? Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter. Um. Down. Ooh, that should distract him. Look, it's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action. Where? Yoink. Okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leaf. Hello again. Hi. All right. So there's oh, one more thing, one more item. I'd like to get out of him. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Porcelain dreams. Well, that was the last item. Well, I've we did. got pirate news to make. So we've got, got dolls to play with, so a treasure map and, and not dolls. a pink blonde doll. Yeah, real valuable treasure. Well. Okay, let's inspect this map. That jungle sure is noisy. Oh dear. Uh, this actually st stumped uh, a few of the, a few of my friends um, when they were playing the game. Apparently, um, this is kind of like the Lost Woods, but um, you don't get lost. Um, you start at the wishing well. You use the map to click on the wishing well and then you walk through the forest following the sounds of each animal in its order but I'm not sure we want to do that right now I think we should pay a visit to club 41 so let's start heading over there Oh, and also something I want to clear up. Um, I said in the last episode that um, I didn't think Tim Schafer was involved in this game. He's not involved with Tales of Monkey Island, but he was um, very involved with uh, The Secret of Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2. Okay, so... What you're gonna want to do, this is um, important. This is very important. You're gonna want to take pink pajama Pierre and Our walk over to the sink. Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the even depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu! Is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess it's hmm. true. Black really is starts to look like 
some sort of ninja. I don't know, maybe called Dave. But there is a slight problem. Um, he doesn't have that little katana. Um, so we're going to need to find that in the next episode. Yes, I'm ending it here. Ha ha ha. So yeah, I'm Oster443. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also like this video. You can comment on this video. I suggest you do. I like to hear feedback from my fans. And I also like getting comments. I don't usually get too many. So yeah, keep keep being beautiful, people. Don't know why I said that. Uh, bye.